uh, Shiva trilogy for me. Shiva trilogy, same for me. Both of you are doing that. Okay. Uh, who is your favorite book character? Shiva from Shiva trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, mine, mine would be. Um, well, there's this one book I'm currently reading, and it has this. It's a book called Sadie. And the character, main character is Sadie. She's really growing up on me. So it's like uh, she stutters and she's like really grunge type of vibe. So I'm quite growing up on that character too lately. Okay. What's your favorite or who's your favorite book character, movie character? My favorite movie character would be... Uh, my favorite movie character would be any time, uh, like every time. Um, oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite character would be Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, I love his that's movies. The, that's the actor. Uh, okay, character. character. Okay, the favorite character would be Johnny English from Johnny English series. Right. I love the character. Like uh, he is also he has a lot of intelligent skills. Mm -hmm. And also he's funny by the way and many people know him as Mr. Bean. Yeah. So I like his character the most and how he relates. Uh, I, I think I relate him to me much because I am a kind of a funny guy if you know me well. But uh, the kind of thing he does every time and solves the mystery I guess that makes me fascinate the most about him. Who's your favorite movie? I don't have one. <laughs> don't have one. Who's your favorite TV show character? I don't have that either. No. Mine would be the young Sheldon. Uh, his character is pretty much what uh, what uh, you can say ten year old would be like if you think of it, but uh, in a different way. Like he is an intellectual person, so he, he does many things uh, which we can't do at uh, such an age. So I think uh, it it kind of hits us different and also makes us feel like how would we be if we were like okay. someone else. I think uh, that would make me proud of myself the most. Uh, if I have some skills and I am able to portray it well, I guess I would be very fascinated to know about the fact that I have some skills to do and I can represent myself in front of the world without any hesitation or listening any negative thing that can lead to destruction Correct. of my skills. Correct. So like like writers write, we artists draw, they write down, down their emotions and we draw it on paper. And I'm an introvert, I don't talk much and I draw. So I usually put down my thoughts and feelings on the paper and it helps a lot. And sometimes when I'm really uh, out of my mind and angry and messed up inside, I like to sit down and put on some music and just draw so that it helps me get my emotions out. What's one book series that has been ruined by movies or TV shows? I guess it would be the Harry Potter series. Like uh, the scenes are very pretty much different from the books if we see. In books uh, it was very pretty much very well portrayed by It's quite people. shallow also, yeah. it's really that shallowness. It was, it was very, you can say deep about all the characters and everything. But in movies as they have like in a time limit or they want their movies to be a blockbuster, mm -hmm. they change the scene sometimes. Uh, so I guess that made me very like unlikely to watch it. Disappointed. Disappointed more than this. Um, on an average, uh, I would say around 100 books, I guess. Total. Yes, total. I think up till now I have read 100 books, okay. I guess. I started reading pretty, uh, very late actually. I used to not read until like a year. Okay. So, I have not read much books, but uh, I'd say it's pretty, it's a pretty low count for um, people who read a lot. I'd say around uh, 30 to 40, that's it. If I really like the book, I'd say a week, but I cannot uh, finish a book in one sitting. I feel it gets too much for the brain to process and I like to uh, think back on some concepts. So I take a week to finish a book. Um, the first, first thing I do is look out for the chapters and the kind of book it is. Like I like the thriller kind of genre very much. So I like to read that kind of books. So I first look up for the genre. Uh, then I take uh, some reviews of the book, like how the book is. 
and then uh, I take up a lot of time to read the introduction and all because I I have a slight different taste like if the introduction went well for me I guess I will read the book and I am that kind of person uh, who can constantly read books uh, because if it gets interesting nobody can stop me from doing it.